at Rocky Mountain National Park. Yeah. This is the town of Estes Park, and this is where my sister's going to be married in five months. Beautiful. Look at this scenery. Connor, what mountain is that? The snow. Well, here we are at Estes Park. I'm walking across this beautiful, pristine mountain stream. I believe Rocky Mountain National Park is straight that way. But yeah, just park. Look at this nice little pedestrian bridge. And you can see here off in the distance is the infamous Stanley Hotel. The very hotel that inspired Stephen King, popular horror author, to write The Shining. It's not the hotel that was based in the actual uh, Stanley Kubrick movie, but that is the real hotel that Stephen King stayed at and inspired the novel, The Shining. It's supposed to be haunted right over there here at Estes Park. What's going on everyone? My name is Eric and this is the Get Me Out of Here vlog. Today I am walking the beautiful mountain streets of Estes Park, Colorado, right outside Rocky Mountain National Park. It's a beautiful, pristine November day. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a fantastic Thanksgiving. Stuffed myself yesterday, have lots and lots to be thankful for, especially you as a viewer. I couldn't do this without you. This is a hobby that I love to do, filming unique locations across the United States. But uh, yeah, I thought I would show you Estes Park. It's a beautiful Rocky Mountain town and the infamous Stanley Hotel, the one that inspired The Shining, the novel The Shining by Stephen King is located here as well. They have a holiday parade apparently this afternoon here in downtown Estes Park. You can see one of the floats there and here behind the trees it looks to be Santa and his reindeer. Gotta love the artwork here underneath this pedestrian tunnel that goes under the main highway. A lot of colored tiles. Looks like maybe the local kids did. I like it. Not really sure where this leads, but there's light at the end of the tunnel. They have musical instruments along the stream here that you can play on. Something the kids can enjoy. Very cool. Got a bench you can sit on and take in the peaceful tranquility of the mountain stream. like crossing the bridge you get more into the downtown district itself there's a coffee shop and looks to be a lot of restaurants and gift shops right along this way there is ice already forming along the banks of the stream so it is that time of year winter is upon us few Christmas decorations shown across the street. Santa's Christmas card studio and here is Christmas in Bugville. There's supposed to be a holiday parade on this main route later today. Going inside this Christmas shop, Simply Christmas, there's a Raggedy Ann and Andy doll walking around. Hello, Merry Christmas. Oh, candy cane, thank you. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Thank you very much. I'm gonna check this out. We got the Christmas spirit here with Raggedy Ann and Andy. It's kind of creepy. They look like the twins from The Shining, right? You know, the Stanley Hotel is here, so it's kind of fitting the theme. All right, let's check this out. Look, they've got a train circling the top of the store. A 
We've got a Christmas Day countdown. 28 days to Christmas. 22 hours, 38 minutes. Right around the corner. And look at all of these Christmas tree decorations, ornaments, all over the store. They even have nutcrackers on display. I can't say that I've ever used one of these kinds of nutcrackers. They actually crack nuts, like almonds, walnuts. You guys leave a message if you've actually used these decorative nutcrackers to crack nuts. I have not. I think people just collect them, but I could be wrong. They even have a fireplace. And there's Kris Kringle himself. Just came down the, well, hopefully he didn't just come down the chimney because it's, it's lit, but uh, he's here. He's here in the, in the store. Santa Claus. Apparently the Christmas pig is a popular item here. It's, it's pretty much sold out. Weird. Oh look, they got snowmen here too, handing out candy canes. Merry Christmas. Gonna grab a slice of pizza here at Bob and Tony's since 1957. Hello, sir. So they've got shine tasting here on display. We're gonna grab a slice of this classic pizza and then we're gonna try some moonshine here as well. We got live music too. This is great. I love this uh, interior, it's very rustic. Yeah, this place is awesome. We even have an outhouse located right next to the pizza counter. <laughs> if you want a Bigfoot t-shirt, they've got Bigfoot t-shirts here for sale as well. Grab these out, though. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's a compliment. So we've got strawberry margarita, Ooh. watermelon, blackberry, vanilla, the peppermint, of course. We have our clear moonshine, that's our platinum. Then so you get, it's a corn mash. Whoa. So you get a little bit of the corn sweetness, but no other added flavoring to it. Okay. And then our espresso shot is our number one seller. If you want really? To that, that sounds good. And we'll do. We've got our family farm bucket. Do you make that here, or where do you make that? We do. So our main distillery is in Tennessee, and uh -huh. then we just opened here in May. Okay, fantastic. Do you want to do the peppermint? I'm kind of leaning towards the espresso now. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the peppermint shine because that is their moonshine tasting special today, and it is the Christmas season. You can see some more characters walking around outside. But uh, yeah, well, I'll try the peppermint. You're doing which one, Connor? All right, here are the peppermints for you. All right, all right, Connor. Cheers. Cheers. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Woo. Oh yeah. That boy hair on your chest. All right. Do you guys like coffee? Yes. 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 Try this. All right. We're gonna do the espresso one as well. This is your most popular one. This is their most popular moonshine. Again, what's the name of the company here? This is Full Throttle. So Full Throttle Distillery is our main one in Tennessee, uh -huh. and then here in Estes, we are Estes Park Distilling Company. Estes Park Distilling Company. All right, well, a little shot of espresso to go to. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, yeah. That'd be good in the morning. All right, that was delicious. Thank you very much. Yep. That was really good moonshine. Did you like that, ladies? Unfortunately, it was a 30-minute wait for the pizza, and uh, I'm, I'm here with a big family group, and everybody wants to leave here in about 30 minutes. So didn't have time to wait for pizza, but I will be back here in Estes Park. A lot more to film downtown, but we're gonna keep walking up and down and doing some window shopping. Looks like they got more characters walking around. A raccoon, a bear. Uh, I think they're hyping things up for the parade later today. <laughs> Take a look at this classic looking movie theater. The park theater and they're showing the new Ghostbusters movie Ghostbusters Afterlife which I have not seen yet I really want to see that that would be awesome to see in an old movie theater here in the town of the Stanley Hotel that would be legendary oh, this caramel corn smells so good got a lot of 
taffy and candy shops along the main street here. We're being followed by this parade of Christmas furries <laughs> here on the main drag. A lot of people in costumes out and about. The parade is this evening. Unfortunately, I won't be here to film it. Got a lot of other things hopping around the Estes Park and Mead, Colorado area today. So kind of just showing you guys a quick glimpse of what downtown Estes Park looks like. Got to watch out for deer poop all over the sidewalk here. A lot of wildlife can be seen. Oh my God, look at that. They look like milk duds. A lot of uh, deer, elk, and even bears are known to wander these town streets here at Estes Park. But well, we tried our luck to get pizza earlier. It was a 30 minute wait, kind of in a rush to get out of here. So we stopped at Rocky Mountain Deli to try some Philly sandwiches. It's really quiet over here. It's a little bit off the beaten trail from the holiday festivities. Mm. Mm. It's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's very good. It gets the job done. So if you want some quick, so if you want a quick bite to eat off the main street here at Estes Park, hit this place up, Rocky Mountain Deli. It's a cozy little spot. Gotta choose Mountain Dew. I'm in the mountains, after all. All right. Well, there is Rocky Mountain Deli. Just a short, sweet video today. Nothing really extraordinary to share. I said that funny, extraordinary, extraordinary to share. I wanted to sh uh, show off the main street here at Estes Park. Again, I'm with uh, a big group of family members. A lot of different things people want to do, so I'm kind of at the mercy of the driver right now and where we're going next. So just a quick glimpse again of the beautiful mountain town of Estes Park. I will be back. Uh, I have plans to stay at the infamous Stanley Hotel this coming spring, and we'll do an entire haunted tour of the hotel. But until then, it's been a pleasure walking up and down the streets of this beautiful town, Estes Park, Colorado. Happy holidays, everyone. Merry Christmas. This is Eric with the Get Me Out of Here blog, and now it is time for me to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Sorry, I mistook you for another gargoyle. Holy cow, the thing just, do not the thing just talked. They got like a speaker here. Bags and suspicious behavior to the nearest you, you, hey, I'm talking to you. Law you swirl some pants. You talking to me? Unattended items will be confiscated and may be destroyed. Look at that, the gargoyle talks. You are kidding.